Welcome back, wannabe kings, to the Neo Aquarium. Let's see, if we want to start our fight, we can either go to the menu with escape and connect to the aquarium, or we can just walk beyond the gate. Okay, our f next opponent is the Hermit Crab, with an appropriate soundtrack. Now that we have knowledge and animals on our side, this battle will be a cinch. We know more about Wiki Foo than he does. Oh, he shed his shell already. Uh, that's not really a wise decision, I would say. Let's see if we can get our internal force spark to spark him away. Oh, and melee attack him. Now, the Hermit Crab is particularly interesting because of their shell. They can use it as a sort of a shield. It's kind of hard to damage their health while they're... <laughs> um, well, from the back while they have it on. Grr, get over here! My legs! My many legs! Oh, oh jeez, you do not want to touch that, uh, uh, that perfect defense with your legs, slow. Okay, how about with this beam? Oh. It's about time that we shed our shell soon. As, as soon as we get an opening, shedding our shell does make us vulnerable for a moment, after all. Come on! Ah. Okay, good, he's not doing anything. <laughs> Thanks for that. Oh. Of course, some some creatures are better at shooting behind them than others. Uh, generally, it's very bad to be on the run from something. You want to be facing it. Okay, great. My giant isopods are here. Opening fire. This will give us the perfect chance. Leash. Ah. Don't get too close now. Perfect. Oh, yes. We got him. We got him. Although we're overall... We're in an over-organic part of the ocean. Not nice. Not nice. Okay. Hurrah! We won a mossy hill and brown boulders. Battle number three. It's about the vase of the never-dying-ality. Humanity's spirit is being corroded by the Neo-Aquarium system. The last ones to survive this war will not be strong, or the philosophers. It will be the ones with superior adaptability, or those with superior submarines, maybe. Hurry up and just destroy each other like the fools you are, and get off my lawn. So says Aristotle Cocopuff. Now, let's add a few creatures. We're going to need a bit of help. Hmm, but not against Aristotle Cocopuff. Aristotle Cocopuff is a barnacle. Oh yeah, you can play as a corn barnacle in this. Hmm. Still haven't quite figured out what the uh, sea fireflies do, so I'm going to add a few of those, just to see. I'm actually kind of surprised that I haven't tested yet. Next up, hmm, add a few trilobites. One, two, three, uh-huh, and... Sea hmm. anemone hermit crab. Why not? You can go there, and there too. Hurrah! Uh, let's see. What kind of decoration would we like today? Eh? Another little rock is nice. It's always handy to give your uh, fellow fish some new things to explore, isn't it? Ah. <laughs> That's taking me back, actually. I once had a fish tank with a... 
with a uh, shipwreck in it. Well, call it a fish tank. People these days said it would be an aquarium. <laughs> Not the best shipwreck, but hey, you do what you can. And let's make it look uh, legit. Ooh, live rock. Talc. Talc. Lovely. Alright, enough editing. Let us connect to the Neo Aquarium and meet our opponent, the Corn Barnacle. Come with me. He has some jellyfish friends and starfish friends. So watch out for those. Now, the interesting things about Corn Barnacles is that they can replicate oh, just gonna get rid of some of these replicate themselves up to ten times so you need to keep your eye on the real one which is quite easy to do if you just uh, tab control also the lyrics are just pointing out places in Japan let's see I'm gonna get some of that nice organic matter just like Evolver, gotta make sure that the fittest survive and that I am the fittest. <laughs> okay, the Corn Barnacle is not that maneuverable. It's quite easy to hit. You just need to time it just right. <laughs> Come on, I don't care how many times you're gonna keep on jumping. I've got you. That is obvious. Just try it. They take increased damage when when it's out of its little well barnacle. C come on! You can, you don't scare me. You're just a barnacle. You think you can deal with the king? All right, got a few more moon jellyfishes and another starfish. They, the, the starfish are very handy. They can deal a load of damage, but they're also very easy to counter with your sphere of influence since they'll probably just come straight at you if they belong to the enemy. Bell number four is absolutely crabulous. Snow, Queen, Pilio, Spider, Baridi, Zuaigani, Steve. The list keeps going on and on. He is known by so many names, and I don't know which Facebook account to check. Well, whatever the case, Crab has spoken and pronounced my death is near. What a jerk. He certainly has. And yes, uh, the king is not really. Uh, not really an amicable person, shall I say, king or crustacean, if I want to be entirely correct. <laughs> well, <laughs> funny that, funny that. You will understand later if you don't know anything about this. Okay, let's add a few uh, moon jellyfishes. Five. And another one round here, why not? Yep, just jellyfishes. Uh, complex coal, what do I feel like adding to the aquarium today? Hmm. Oh, trapezoidal rock. Yeah, if I. Add one over here. Yeah, why not? Why not? That'll work. OK, 
because, well, very soon, very soon indeed, uh, we're probably going to be doing most of the fighting in our own aquarium parts. So we want to make sure it's looking nice for our enemy. Alright, next battle. It's against the snow crab. It's good moving sideways. While that means it can't really directly look at us that easily, it's also good at strafing. Want to stay away from those arms when they've got beams going on. And I've got beams of my own. Oh, grab me for a moment there. You do not want to get grabbed by a crab. You want to be the one to do the grabbing. Oh boy. Most beam attacks get longer with time as well. So, you'll probably want to outrun them as fast as you can. Don't get too close. Oi, wh what do you think you're doing just waving that poor isopod around, eh? I am an ally of the isopods. Okay, let's get some internal force spark going. Oh, d stupid Skype. Arrgh. Oh, well, at least I can see my actions clearer. Oh. Organic matter. Okay. Ah, no. I'm losing. How can it be? I need allies. Let's see. Not only does organic matter improve the maximum power gauge, ah. Ah. but also getting damaged helps as well. Oh jeez. Ah, we need. To, oh, we need to get to a safer place so that we can shed. Okay, this is good enough. Okay, if we can last long enough, then we can get our ultimate skill going on. Okay, the the bigger our uh, power gauge can, the bigger the size. Look, we're doing it. Okay, come on, please don't kill me. Please destroy him. Ah, oh, he got a decoy. Intelligent. Okay. The bigger the size of our power gauge, the faster it will charge. So we're doing the same thing again. That's right. Urgh. Come on, come on. And some characters have oh, really overpowered skills. Oh jeez, I'm so glad that that attack wipes out enemy bullets. <laughs> it's almost like a Toho game. <laughs> but then most bombs and shooters do that kind of thing, don't they? Oh, no, 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 not the beam. Oh, oh jeez. Organic matter. Yes, thank you. Come on, finish him off, please. Yes. Oh. Well, I don't think we'll get that lucky again, because he wasn't as aggressive as he could be. Oh, this one is going to be tough. It's one for the sunken homies. It is a humble offering to the gods. It proves who is the real prey. This Kagomimochi represents the same of my tens of thousands of homies. I will free this divine ocean from your relentless kung fu gi grip, son. So says Yasunori Abizuka. Well, I don't know about him, but I am going to need help for this bell, because I failed so many times, so many times. This was my first great hurdle in the game, Yasunori Abizuka. He is the spiny lobster. Fitting. Very fitting. 
let's see. We shall add animals. We are going to need quite a bit of help here. So, a couple of starfish laying on the rocks. Thank goodness they are not at all like the starfish in Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth. Maybe a few purple sea urchins to make them keep their hands off of us. Eh, a few giant isopods. Because they are our allies. Uh, I'll put them on this rock over here. It's a comfortable rock. You'll be safe there, usually. Yes, I know I'm adding in a few more creatures that I than I said I would, but we will need every little bit of help we can get, and we've earned a lot more anyway. Let's see, uh, put a few here. Vase sponges are like anti-aircraft cannons. Never have too many. Maybe, maybe that's what they're like. Alright then, well, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching, everyone. I hope this helps you on your conquest. Uh, let us not be conquested next time. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.